Hello, Kurt Kohler from the Razor Razor Company. Uh, we're going to talk about the laminations and why a laminated blade is so much stronger than a, a mono blade. We offer both. Uh, the laminated blades are much heavier. In fact, uh, those that study Eskrima, uh, the Philippine art of stick fighting, will find that these are a formidable weapon, just dull. And they don't have to be sharp at all. The, um, what happened is we found that if we make a blade too thick with a single blade, uh, it reaches a point, uh, what they call deformation, plastic deformation. And if it exceeds its yield strength, uh, then you create a situation where the blade permanently bends. So, as in a tape measure that's very thin, you can bend back and forth, can you imagine making a tape measure out of a quarter inch steel? Well, it wouldn't bend, and if it did, it would be all, it would, it would, it would, it would bend permanently. So we take a th several thinner blades and make one heavy, heavyweight blade from this. The, um, I'll show you two blades that are not at all finished or completed. You'll see that uh, what, what we have here are two individual blades. We laminate them together so you can see two blades. They're, they're specially laminated. There is a lot of time and care taken to make sure these line up perfectly from the standpoint that there's no gaps when we, we, we have a system where we verify that these blades are very true and are perfectly fitted for one another. Uh, we might have some competitors somewhere down the line out of China that are going to manufacture these and they are not going to take the care uh, or have the expertise of assembly that we do. Everything here is handmade, looked at, double, triple, quadruple checked uh, and we, make a, we guarantee these blades for life. What will happen if because we use a, a molecular adhesion, which is surface tension, the same process that if you took film uh, for your car window, to darken your window, they put soap and water, and the molecules actually suck the uh, film to the glass. It's called surface tension, the same thing that if you uh, polish your car, hood of your car, and you notice it rains, it beads up because the molecules on the inside of that liquid are pulling towards the outside of the other molecules, and it creates tension. Uh, we take a special liquid grease, which actually you can find at any store, it's a sticky grease, and we coat the blades, we put them together. Once they're together, uh, you're, you can't separate them. If you try to take your fingernail and break them apart, you'll break your fingernail. The only way you can separate them is trying to get at the tip and pulling them apart. Uh, what you'll see in our videos is after a while, hitting hard concrete over and over and over again, uh, we finally can get the blades to separate. That's a good thing. And the reason is that all this energy is being absorbed by the blades that are floating. If you had a solid blade, you'd be much more likely to permanently deform or crack the blade. So what we've done is we've created a system that we believe these blades are nearly indestructible. Uh, nothing is totally indestructible, uh, so we can't guarantee that. But for all practical purposes, if you use the, the system as intended, it'll last, it'll outlast you. The, um, what happens, hopefully you'll be able to see this, but if we take these blades, this blade, and we move it, we bend it, the blades actually move at a different speed. They actually scissors. So one blade, when it bends, will actually go ahead of the other blade slightly, a sixteenth of an inch. Why this takes place is because this allows the, the tension. When these blades are being bent over and over and over again, the liquid, and, and again, literally, these blades are not touching. There's molecules of liquid that separate them. They are floating on a liquid. First time anywhere in the world this has been done. It it removes the pressure and the tension between the two blades and creates longevity. Allows these blades to last for a very, very, very long time. So you'll never reach that point of plastic deformation. Uh, this process has been tested. When you go to our site, the other videos, you will see us taking uh, blades like this and hitting concrete blocks. You will eventually see that they separate. After a time, you're going to get pieces of material and debris that will eventually enter between this and they'll eventually separate. Still usable at that point, you wouldn't want to get struck with it. Uh, a five minute cleaning 
and reassembling with some liquid grease, uh, pressing it together with a vise or our vice grips, and it's as good as new. So, uh, in fact, we recommend that once every, oh, perhaps six months to a year, you re-laminate the blades and uh, clean them, take the grease off. Some people say, gee, I don't want to go through that, but believe me, it's well worth it. This is a very heavyweight blade. It can crush anything it contacts with. And in fact, like I said, the Escrima people just love it.